Fantastic. Nine o'clock in New York City. We got it going on. Don't you know it? The man to my right, responsible for the guitar work and the amazing background vocals. All those songs you heard right there. Hey, I wrote that stuff. Exactly. <laughs> Richie Sinabora, welcome to the program, my hey, friend. Hey, man. Thanks, guys. Thanks uh, for having me. I know that this is early morning, and that last night, uh, not even 12 hours ago, you were probably still on stage in Boston. Absolutely. We had two amazing sold-out shows in, uh, at the Boston Garden, warming up for, guess what? The greatest city in the world. Yeah. That's New what we York like to hear. City, man. Fantastic. Just, uh, unbelievable. Is it uh, difficult to find some north northeast love in Boston for the boys from New Jersey? You know what? Not at there. all, man. You know, I mean the last time we played uh, Boston we played in Gillette Stadium. Okay. You know, so and that was sold out. So, you know, they love us up there too, man. They they were an unbelievable crowd. We had a blast. It was fantastic. Tomorrow is Central Park. I know there was a major undertaking going on to make this happen with Major League Baseball. You have to be excited. Oh, man, I tell you what. It was a, it was a great thing. And there was, you know, there was some stuff, there were some struggles that we had to uh sure. deal with, especially things like ticket distribution. Yeah. Uh, you know, it was very important to us uh, you know, that we Tried to get the tickets to our fans mm -hmm. because because in the, these economic times, you know that we know that to get to Yankee Stadium or to Shea Stadium, it's you know, with gas being over four bucks a gallon, then you have to take a kind of a a day off of work and all that stuff to actually get to these places. You know, it's mm -hmm. going to cost you some bread. And we wanted to make this a free concert for our fans and and uh, the people in the greatest city for the people in the greatest city in the world, New yeah. York City. So we really had to work it out with. Uh, Major League Baseball and also the mayor's office and, you know, obviously the con Conservancy at Central Park where it was fabulous. So uh, yeah. we did everything we can to get uh, our fans the tickets. And we have had several to give away, including some more still before the show is done. But what we're auctioning off are the final two shows, Madison Square Garden Absolutely. on Monday and Tuesday. And these prize packages are very hefty. We thought we'd remind people what's up for grabs for our auction today. Uh, four premium seats to the Bon Jovi shows, whether you're going Monday or Tuesday. The highest bidder gets their pick. If for some reason at the end of our auction there is a full-on equal tie, then maybe they'll mud wrestle or we'll flip a coin or something <laughs> along those lines. I like the mud wrestling idea. <laughs> four side of the stage tickets where you can watch a portion of the show. It's amazing. You probably have seen so many fans within arm's length away due to the side, st side stage access. That's got to be a cool thing. You know, it's it's been a really, really, really cool thing. We kind of started it like, I guess, it's, God, it's got to be 12 years ago now. Mm -hmm. uh, like for our friends and family and obviously radio contest winners right. to come up. And just kind of hang out on stage with the band to see what it's like. You, and, uh, you know, it'd be, it'd be a riot to look back behind me some days. And, you know, when my dad was alive, he'd be back there, like, standing with, like, you know, Claudia Schiffer and uh, Tico's ex-wife, Ava Herzegova, and all these people. Amazing. Me, with a beer or something. You know, it, it was, was kind of cool. You know, it was a lot of fun. We also have four autograph Care for Kelly t-shirts, which you have designed. You are wearing one right now. Actually, the ones that uh, people are going to be... Uh, uh, um, auction, not we're auctioning off that we're purchasing. selling. Purchasing actually is going to be with a picture of me on the front of it. Mm -hmm. So my fans can have a picture of me. On we have seen it. Sure. We've held it up for our friends uh, at Channel cool. 11 who are covering this earlier today. Uh -huh. We have an autographed Bon Jovi guitar and of course the meet and greet action before the show. And the thing as you mentioned, you never know who's going to show up by the side of the stage. If someone's hanging with you backstage, you never know who else might be drifting past. Absolutely. You never know who's going to show up at one of our shows. Usually it's a pretty star-studded event here in New York City. Is it uh, difficult as an artist to uh, focus on the task at hand when you have uh, some of these personal things happening beforehand? No, it... you know, I mean, this is something, the, the, the work that we've done, obviously, in the 25 years that this band has been together, uh, there's always some kind of crazy craziness going on exactly. before the show or contests or, or make a wish stuff and all kinds of stuff you know so we're kind of used to it uh we look at the stage as the safe house once we get up there basically that's when uh, the lights go out and that's when our we get real focused and uh, it's your world it's our world up there i should mention 25 years officially makes it a rock and roll hall of fame eligible ouch 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 <laughs> yeah you know we actually got inducted into the rock and roll hall of fame uh in Europe last mm -hmm. year, which was really really cool, with like Led Zeppelin and you know James Brown and Prince. And it was that. a good it was, class. It was a real good. <laughs> class. It was a good class, and John and I actually got inducted into the Songwriters Hall of Fame this year, but we couldn't Amazing. make it because we were. Uh, 
playing to uh, 60,000 people in Denmark, so we couldn't keep those Denmarkians. How about that? <laughs> the Denmarkians waiting for us. Good for you. We should mention a couple things before we go ahead and open our phones for our starting bids. Number one, uh, you guys have been friends of the radio station for a long time. Love this radio station. Grow we this. last had a chance to talk in Times Square before you opened the 2002 NFL season. That was a... Great huge kid. deal. Oh, man, it was huge deal. We yeah. saw you at the China Club for a very intimate show that has been pressed onto CD that your fans are <laughs> well aware of. That show has been broadcast on this station a couple times. You were part of Scott and Todd's 16th anniversary celebration at the Hard Rock, which was less than a year ago. And we spoke to you just before you started 10 huge nights at the all new Prudential Center and the start uh, of the man, we've had, we, we, you guys have been so good to us and we love PLJ man you have always, always been have. kind to us and now we're going to take this prize package that we described to you a couple moments ago and put it up for bid not one but two of them for Kelly Lynn Mayon now here's the thing about Kelly Mahan's story she's 17 years old and just about Thanksgiving time last year she starts to experience some blurred vision mm -hmm. and from there the story just continues to get uh, more painful and, and more interesting. Obviously, after seeing an eye doctor, uh, immediately rushed to the hospital for some surgery. So she and her family spend Thanksgiving in the hospital when an MRI reveals that there's a mass in the front of her brain. Uh, just after admission to the hospital, she submits her application to Rutgers University, is later accepted and given a $20,000 academic scholarship. So this girl, pretty much Woodbridge High School, top of her class. Yeah, man, you know, I, I heard about the story through a friend, and it just broke my heart. Uh, you know, her coming from my alma mater, obviously Woodbridge High School, mm -hmm. uh, you know, brought the attention to me. But, um, I mean, I had to do something to help, you know. It was just one of those things. It's sure. like, here was a kid that was, you know, on her way. To go into college, you know, probably the first kid in their family going there, blue collar family, hard working family, yeah. and all of a sudden, starts going blind, and then uh, the tragedy of a, a, a brain tumor, and then you know, complications guess, after surgery. Complications as well. after surgery, uh, you know, uh, blood clots and aneurysms, which is like basic, basically like a couple of baseball bats to the head, you know, after yeah. that, and then uh, now, you know, I'm just I'm just trying to help this family out and trying to help Kelly out, and I'm hoping that you know. We start a trend here, you know. I mean, if somebody, successful guy or woman, uh, in a high school across this country, even can go back and help a kid somewhere along the line, I mean, that would make the world a better place and make it, and you know, lead by example. So let's raise some money. Let's do it. We're going to open the phones right now. One eight hundred three two one WPLJ. Opening bid for one of these packages fifteen hundred dollars we're gonna start the tally we're gonna see where things go and while all this is happening on the phone lines we're gonna talk a little bit about bon jovi play some music and maybe get some more insight from you so let's start with the story about the song have a nice day have a nice day well that's the title obviously to our uh, record right before this one mm -hmm. and um... you know any anytime you write a song you know when john and i write it's uh, we're kinda thinking like two different things John was thinking about a lot of the political stuff that was going on and what he was doing with the words to this particular song. Mm -hmm. And for me, I was just, there was so much media scrutiny around the stuff that was happening in my life, as you well remember. <laughs> uh, yeah. I was the tabloid boy. At and that time. Uh, I was more like, you know, when the world gets in my face, I said, have a nice day. <laughs> Good for you. That's a nice way so, right yeah. there. Yeah, exactly. And, and John is coming at it from a whole different political perspective, and then thus we have, have a nice day. Excellent. Thank you very much. Richie is with us on 95.5 PLJ. Phones are open for the auction, and this is Bon Jovi.